Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Rhythm School with a tutorial on dot notation versus bracket notation in objects in JavaScript. So you would use one of these two notations when you want to access the values of the keys in an object, and they both have certain uses and places where they will work and they won't work. So let's dive in. Say we have this object um, and we've decided to call it dev and inside we've got a first name of Serena and her pet very cute cat named Oz. <laughs> and we want to be able to access the value of the key of first name. So we have some ways that we could try this. The first way is using dot notation, and this is the preferred way to do it when you can. So what we're going to type in is dev, the name of our object, and then dot, and then the name of the key whose value we want to access. So we're going to go dev dot first name. And that should give us back the string of Serena. And it does. So a second way that we could access this value is by using bracket notation with quotation marks on the inside. At this point in your learning journey, if you're a beginner, it's safe to say that all keys in JavaScript objects are strings, which later on isn't really true. But at this point, it's probably what you're going to encounter all of the time. So keep in mind that it's a string. Strings have quotes. So we're going to do our the name of the object, dev, and then we're going to do square bracket and then a quote because it's a string, first name, close our quote, close it square bracket, and now voila, we get the same result, Serena. So the last thing, remember what I said about it, the key being a string? If I try to do this and I leave out the quotes, it's going to try to evaluate what's inside of the brackets, which means that is going to look for a variable called first name. Now we have a key called first name, but we never declared a variable called first name. So when I try this, I'm going to go dev square bracket, first name, no quotes, and I hit enter and I get this error because there is no such variable called first name. So keep in mind, if you're using square brackets, it's going to try to evaluate whatever you put in there. OK, so let's try something where we're going to use numbers as the key. So in this case, um, this might be a case where you have an employee ID, a student ID, some sort of key that you're using to keep track of people. So here I've got all of the grads of R22. Um, my class, they're fabulous. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try to access the names of some of my cohort mates um, using their numeric keys. Now, this is where dot notation will actually fail. So if I try to do rhythm 22 grads and I go my dot notation and I try to access Ivan, for example, so I'm going to go rhythm 22 grads dot 182 for Ivan and I get an error because 182 is not a valid identifier in JavaScript. So I get an error here. So if I try to use my bracket notation, check it out. I'm going to do the same thing, rhythm 22 grads, square bracket with a quote now, 182, and my quotes, and my square bracket. And this time it works because it's looking for the string of 182. Now, what's interesting here, um, and a little bit confusing, but kind of goes back to what I said earlier about JavaScript will try to evaluate what's in the square brackets. If I do rhythm 22 grads square bracket and a number 182 with no quotes, it's still going to work because JavaScript will coerce that number into a string because it's expecting the key to be a string. If that doesn't make sense, it's OK. It doesn't have to. <laughs> you can always use the quotes, and it's totally going to work. So it's not really something that you necessarily need to remember or keep top of mind, um, but it will work if you leave out the quotes for a number, but not for a string, unless it's a variable. Yeah, OK. So <laughs> the other thing that you want to remember, if you are using numeric key values 
is this one historical quirk about JavaScript, where if you try to use a number that has a leading zero, that used to be notation or a signal to JavaScript to convert your number from base 10 into base eight or octal. So if you type something in like zero, one, zero, it's not going to interpret that as 10. It's going to give you back the number eight. So in general, if you're going to be using numeric keys, don't make them start with a zero and life will be good. The other way that you can get around it is by putting this use strict at the top and that will catch any errors. Like if you try to use a number with a leading zero, it's going to warn you that it's going to try to convert it into octal and it, it won't let you do that. Um, so that's a, a newer feature of JavaScript where it does you that favor. So if you've ever wondered about that use strict at the top, that is one of the things that it helps uh, prevent. It helps you to catch errors that otherwise might have slipped through and really messed up your code. So check out this object where if I turn off my use strict and I try to uh, put this uh, object in, and then I try to see what the value is, you can see that it's converted a lot of the keys into base eight, which is not what I intended um, and could really mess up my data. So be careful of that. So in general, uh, dot notation versus bracket notation, um, try to remember that if it is something that needs to be evaluated or if it's a variable, use brackets. And otherwise you can just use dots. If it's the, if you know the name of the key and you just wanna access something in the object, go ahead and do that. So where would you need to use a variable? Well, you would need to use a variable when you are looping over things, for example. So if I want to loop over my rhythm 22 grads, I can say something like for let grad in rhythm 22 grads, and then I can console log out the name of my object, which is rhythm 22 grads, and then my bracket notation, which is the name of the key that I want to access. But in this case, I want to access all of the keys, right? So I'm looping over them. So I'm going to use grad inside of those square brackets. And then when I print this out, I will get a console log of everybody's names. Pretty cool. <laughs> so that's about it for dot versus bracket notation. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And I hope you all have an awesome day. See you next time.